and he joins us now from the Storm Center. Ron, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Josh. Yeah, and at this point, I can almost guarantee you we'll be uh, we'll see a tornado watch issued for the Tri Cities within probably a few hours. But when you hear about that, just know it's later on this evening after dark. That's the time that we're concerned about. The uh, as we take a look at the storm system, it's just that the Storm Prediction Center is giving folks a lot of warning. They've been uh, issuing these watches uh, very early on, despite the uh, fact that the line of thunderstorms is farther to the west. But you can see it across Middle Tennessee, and you can see how far to the east these uh, tornado watches highlighted by the red extend. And notice the Tri-Cities under the orange, that's a wind advisory. We'll have gusty winds in advance of the storm system. So you can see this uh, moving eastbound, really harsh line of thunderstorms with uh, and at O'Hare in Chicago, they canceled more than 125 flights, and there's reports of people in Illinois, 59,000 without power. And you can see on the backside how strong this is. Why do you show you the snow in the Dakotas, just to give you an idea of the temperature difference and the intensity of the storm. We'll talk about the timing of when to expect this uh, to move through the dry cities coming up here shortly. Josh, for that back to you. All right, Rob, thank you. And as Rob just told us, the system over the Midwest is what is ushering in the severe weather threat here. And listen to this forecast.